All right, thank you, Jason. Get ready for this this weekend. We have a traffic alert impacting your weekend plans, possibly your drive into work or school on Monday morning as well. A section of I-70 will be closed the whole weekend as part of the ongoing Central 70 project. Denver 7's Eric Lufer is live with us this morning, and this may be the busiest section of I-70. Well, you know what, Brian? When you've got two major highways merging, that equals lots of volume. The closure is big, too, but you can get around it pretty easily, especially since fewer cars will be on the road. The weekend closure is between Colorado Boulevard and I-270, and I-270 would be your main detour. That's for drivers coming from the east and the west. CDOT says crews will be placing bridge beams as part of the new I-270 flyover. That flyover will only go one direction, southbound 270 to eastbound I-70. And if you take I-70 often on your commute, then you've already seen some of the early work for the flyover. The bridge itself is being built off-site. Building a bridge off-site and then we'll be able to place the bridge over a full weekend closure and just be done with it. If we were to install the bridge and make everything on site, it'd be a much longer closure. There would be more traffic impacts as a result. Your morning commute should be okay. It will reopen by 5 a.m. That's the expected opening time. This is just one phase of the $1.2 billion Central 70 project. A 10-mile stretch of the highway is getting a major facelift between Brighton Boulevard and Chambers Road. I'm Eric Lufer, Denver 7. Thank you, Eric. We are now eight months into the Central 70 project and clearly work is moving right along. One of the biggest changes will be coming in mid 2020. That's when the viaduct that goes over the road will be removed. It'll be a long project with completion expected in late 2022.